Wouldn't it be nice if we had card visual that's filterable? What I mean by that is if you go to the right side, you can see a card visual. And if I select the values over there, the tables get filtered for that values. So that would be pretty good and pretty great. And your visualization would go to a next level, right? So that would be a very good um, step, very good element for your report, right? And that's what I'm going to show you in this report. Here you can see we have high spenders and this department, the North is the highest spending department. Manager Arya Stark, a Game of Thrones reference there, a Game of Thrones character. She is the highest spending manager and the project M2348 is the highest spending project maybe in a year or something, okay? So you can see, not only see like there is a department north that's spending highest, but I can also filter, I can select the value and filter the table, see all the uh, projects under department north. If I select IA stock, I can see all the projects under IA stock. If I select project, I can see the detail of the project, like project manager, department, and total cost. So we're gonna create this visual in this tutorial. So let's get started. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Power BI with Rosh. My name is Rosh. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to create a fancy table such as this one where we can leave, like, leave the targets at the top three rows and show the table as well as the conditional formatting and colors. If you guys haven't shared, watched that video, go check out my YouTube channel. And thank you all the 6 to 12 subscribers that I have. Thank you for your support. Your support really helped, means a lot to me and encourages me to create more videos like this. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the tutorial for today. So first of all, I've copied a, the template for the backgrounds and everything, the text files and uh, sorry, text boxes and everything. Okay, so I've already copied that. So for your information, I'm telling you that I'm gonna create a filterable card, but it is a trick video. So what I mean by that, I am not actually creating using the card visual. We're gonna create something that it looks like a card visual, but is not. So that's the trick, okay? So first thing first, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the backgrounds for these ones. So let's go to the shapes and get some rectangles there, okay? I'm gonna go over here, let's create some rectangles. And I'm gonna create the background as same as this one, just for uh, the comparison or whatever. Anyway, so let's go create, I've already created a box. Let's go create another one and another one for project, okay? So I'm not using the card visual. So the trick here is to use another visual and that visual is drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. A table visual, our old school table visual that everyone's loved. That's what we're going to use, okay? So look, I'm not gonna use any measures or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go department, I'm gonna go filter, I'm gonna go north, okay? I'm, I haven't created any measures or anything, so I'm just gonna go north because it's, I know that's the most spending department, okay? So north, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make it as the same size as the car, uh, sorry, the rectangle at the background. And as well as I'm going to get that column with the column width as long as the almost there make sure you don't see the scroll uh, bar at the bottom you can see the scroll bar make sure you don't see that just leave it right over there okay now next step i'm going to go style project go to the visualization option go to visual style presets i'm going to go to none okay and this is what it's going to do when i do it none okay so if I go over there, general, and remove the background. So what I want is I want the background, the pink, pinkish, the cream color background, right? So what I, if I don't do preset, go to default, it's gonna give me white background, okay? So make sure you have none. So that's going to make the table visual completely transparent, right? So it seems like we're almost there, right? Okay, and we are almost there, okay? So next step, is now go to, so I'm gonna uh, minimize that, go to grid, expand the grid option, right? So in here, 
I'm going to get removed off that line. You can see there is a gray line over there under the column header and the values, right? So you can see a gray line. So that option is under the grid and go to the border. That's where you'll find uh, option to uh, get rid of that, not get rid of that, change the color or change the width or something. So what I'm going to do again, as you have guessed, to make it transparent, I'm going to have to make the same color as the background. So I'm going to select the same color, which is this one, right? So that will make uh, that, that will make it look like um, it's removed, but it's not. It, you just made the same color, so it looks like a transparent. Uh, we may, uh, made it transparent, okay? So next step. I'm going to go uh, to the department, what I'm going to go to the column header, sorry. Let's go to the column headers. And as you might have guessed, we're going to change the text color to the text color to the same color. And it's going to make the, uh, the column headers go away as well, right? So we're almost there, right? So let's go back to the other color, right? So what I'm going to do first is because we don't need that much space for that much height for column header right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go for the minimum we can so eight pixels okay i'm going to go to the eight points and i'm going to now i'm going to change that to a color that uh it's the same as the background color okay so now we have the value over here and you can select that and you can filter the table as you can see but we want to make change to that one as well the first thing I want to make that a central in a, in a center, right? I want to position that to a center. So that would be the header alignment. So that's for column header. So let's uh, collapse the column header. Now let's go to a specific column, as you can see. But we only have one column, which is department. So let's go to this specific column and go all the way down to values. And under there, you can see alignment. Select the central alignment. That will make the value to go to the center uh, position, right? And now, we need to increase the um, the size of the font, right? The font size. So let's go all the way the as much as we need. Let's go to 21 for now. Maybe bold, maybe not. Let's leave it as it is, okay? So that's how we create a filterable card visual, right? Simple as that. And now all I need to do is go over here, control go. And if I want to make that to a manager, just uh, select go to the change the value to manager like this is for the department so go to the columns part go to manager again i'm gonna go select aria stock because i haven't created a major so go to the project manager aria stock i'm gonna rename that and that's gonna give me aria stock again you gotta go specific column go to central alignment Oh, actually, you need to resize that to the original size, right? And similar to this one as well, I can just go select the department, not the department, sorry, the project. And I know the project is M240, so I'm going to go read up that. And I'm going to go, this is the project we want to go. And again, resize it, right? And make it the values central alignment specific column go to central alignment so that's how you create a filterable card visual in power bi and that's a trick and there might be other tricks people might use other ways to do it but this is how i do it in my visuals so hopefully you guys like this video this is a i think uh, i use this trick uh, in most of my visuals whenever I need it and my users find it very helpful because they don't have to do drill through like usually you just go right click and drill through see all the values for the north department or for the particular manager or something so these kind of don't want to make you use uh, sorry don't like it removes the need of using drill through right so this is something i would use instead of drill through but sometimes you do need to use drill through of course so if you guys like this video please do subscribe to my channel like subscribe and com leave comments especially comments please because i need content for my videos as well so if you guys leave comments or hey rosh how do i do this i can make a video on that help you guys out as well and i can create content for my channel as well so this much for today. I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you next time. I'll come up with another trick. My other other videos are pending. I'll be uploading more videos. Thank you so much for today. Uh, goodbye.